O people of Zion, behold, the Lord will come to save the nations, and the Lord will make the glory of his voice heard in the joy of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, greetings. My name is Father Julio Amesqua, and I'm happy to be your celebrant for today's Mass. I am the chaplain at Bishop Matchbov High School. Let us today acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord in this time of Advent to please come to us and ask him for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, really sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my most fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and all the saints, all saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east, and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age o depths and gorges be filled to leveled ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The, the forest and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in glory by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the exiles of Zion, we thought we were dreaming. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, our tongues songs of joy. Then the nations themselves said, what great deeds the Lord worked for them. 
What great deeds the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Bring back our exiles, O Lord, as streams in the south. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, bearing seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back with a song, bearing their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you, we continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Traconitis, and Lysanias was tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zachariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding roads shall be made straight, 
and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Very well, brothers and sisters, we are entering now into the second Sunday of Advent, the second week, and the Lord gives us this word. I was thinking that I have a friend who is a Carmelite, was a Carmelite priest, and he used to travel a lot. He went from one part of the globe to another part, always going back and forth in the plane, always in mission. And uh, he used to go with the people that were natives in small islands in the Pacific. And he told me that one time, the people of the islands, they said to him, eh, when you go so fast, your soul does not catch up with you until you arrive to the place and three, four days. He was impressed by this because it is true that he was going so fast that it seemed like his soul couldn't catch up to him. And many times this happens in our society. We go so fast, we do so many things, we are so busy, and we don't stop to listen to the voice of the Lord. That's why this time of Advent is fundamental for us. Why? Because there are times to run, absolutely. But this time is a time to listen. That's why in the gospel, the, the, the evangelist Luke, he says, in the 15th year, in the time of this person, of this person, of this other person, of this other person, in order to put us into a place, into a time. And this time is now. And this time says that there is one that is coming that is the word of God and that is being announced to us today. Where is this word of God announced? It says that the son of Zechariah named John announced it in the desert. This is the beauty of this gospel, brothers and sisters, because today the Lord is telling us, look, I want to espouse you. I want to love you. I want to take care of you in your suffering, in the desert. Wherever you are today, in that place where you think there is no hope, I bring hope. And this is Advent, just like the first reading said for the people of Israel, these people that had been going in exile, now they were beginning to see the rebuilding of their hearts so that may, they may rebuild the temple. And the same for us today. What is this word telling us? Courage, do not be afraid. I come to help you. I come for you because I love you. And this is the key to understand Advent. It is now the time to wait for the Lord, to hope, like the Psalm says, Psalm 40, I hope, I hope in the Lord. And he came down to me because the Lord delights in us, amazing to think this, but this is the heart of Christ. This is the heart of God. That's why let us listen to this voice that cries in the desert, in our suffering, and he says, prepare the way for me, wait for me. I, says the Lord, will make the straight, will make the path straight. I will fill the valleys. I will lower the mountains, the problems and the difficulties and the winding roads, I will make them straight. The problems with your wife, the problems with your children, the problems with your husband, I will do it. And the rough ways will ma be made smooth. Brothers, let us prepare the way of the Lord and let us allow to touch, to, for him to touch our hearts and let us put this time, let us not run faster than him, let us stay with him. Let our souls catch up to us in this Advent and let us hope for his mercy.
Together, let's profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we await with longing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us with renewed devotion beseech his mercy that as he came into the world to bring good news to the poor and heal the contrite of heart, so in our own time also he may bring salvation to all in need. That Christ may visit his holy church and keep watch over her always, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord that Christ may fill the Pope, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops with spiritual gifts and graces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may vanish disease, drive out hunger, and word of every affliction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as witnesses to Christ's love before all, we may abide in the truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty ever-living God, who brings salvation to all and desire that no one should perish, hear the prayers of your people and grant that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and your church rejoice in tranquility and devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. He will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. You will become our spiritual drink. A blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, our right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, 
with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread, bread. <coughs> and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb.
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jerusalem, arise and stand upon the heights, and behold the joy which comes to you from God. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, I invite you to participate in this, uh, in this allowing of the recording, if you can donate, so that we may continue this wonderful ministry to reach everyone who is at home. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, the power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Pre-recorded TV Mass is made possible by the Archdiocese of Denver and the Catholic Foundation. Hi, I'm Father Matthew McGee, a priest here in the Archdiocese of Denver. And each week, people from across Colorado, around the country and the world, tune into TV Mass here each Sunday. On the air since 1966, TV Mass continues to bring the Word of God to those who cannot attend. For more information and ways to support TV Mass, please visit thecatholicfoundation.com.